my name is Paddy Guiney. I am 21. I mean, uh, I'm, I was about to say I'm in Connex Communications. I'm studying third year. I'm studying politics and history in third year, so I'm in final year. Okay, cool. And uh, what is the role of communication? Um, the role which I've learned um, from my one year in the union is that it's all about communicating with the first thing it's broken up to two parts. The first is communicating with students, letting them know what the student union does. So whether that be through social media, whether that be through social media, advertising in media outlets like outlets like papers. The second thing is campaigning. So if you're campaigning for student issues that students actually that students care about. So whether that be simple things like student issues on campus like saving our like save our track or national issues on the national level. So that is the main role of uh, that is the main role for what I feel that campaigns and communications have to offer now. Just getting the message out there to students, that's of what the student union does and what we can do for them. Yeah, and just briefly, why should the students vote for you and not the other candidates? Uh, okay. I've always wanted to do this and um, I was sports officer this year in the student union and then I just, I, 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 like I, like I grew into the role of sports officer and then I just saw campaigns and I really just got a kind of taste for it. But the main reason I want to do this is because I am the most passionate about it there and I want this so much and I know I can do the best job 100% and like the main thing I just want to say in Drive Home is I'm the most capable, like I can last the term that I serve, I will, like, the term that I serve, the hours that I have to do, but I can definitely give it 100% throughout the whole thing and I am, the second thing is I've most experienced, like I really, really, I've most experienced what I've really enjoyed this year, like I love doing what I'm doing, whether it be campaigning to save a track or like, having events in regards to sports group and just helping out with the students union. So that's that's why I want to have so experience and passion. And um, how do you feel about this year's campaign communication last semester? Um I I how do I feel you perform? Basically I think I can do a better job. I can do a lot better job and I know and I can do I can I can add my own level to it. Like I can take it up a notch. That's how I feel that's how I feel this year has gone. I can do, I think it can be done a lot better. Any we, examples? Um just for myself what I can do or, or how you would improve on Ha communicating, that's the main thing. Campaigning, communicating is I just this year from being involved, it's just the students always hear the bad stuff and they don't hear from the students who they hear from other outlets and my friends who aren't involved in the union uh, like from other outlets they say word of mouth or this wherever but they get like my friends would say that as well who aren't involved in the union. So they have a, there's been a really, really bad message that the union have, like how I want to change that is communicating. So like so this how I'm gonna do that is focusing on ideas. So like being more out there, so we have to. The phrase that I. Just a couple of concrete examples. Concrete YouTube videos, weekly YouTube videos. So every two, every week, I'm going to tell students with YouTube videos, so they're going to go on the social media site like Facebook, Twitter, and our website. What I've done that week, what I want to achieve, and what I'd love them to get involved. In. I want all Sabats to do that instead of them just being put into the, the website. The second thing I want to do, the second thing I want to do is is second thing I want to do is uh, lecture dressing. I want to bring. I want to my. My structure, how I see my vision of communi campaign communications is every morning I will be lecture addressing, I will be telling students what is going on, what are we doing, so they know, they know what's happening in the student union. So lecture addressing and just be more open, be okay. using every outlet we have and, and as cost effective as we can. Um, do you believe that uh, ECD should remain affiliated with USI? That is, uh, from when I, before I came to the student union and I, when I saw that the amount they pay every year over a hundred gram over a hundred grand for membership, I was against it. I think they should disaffiliate. However, after having a year in the student union and seeing all the good work they do behind closed doors, I don't think they should disaffiliate. But my opinion isn't the most important, it's what students think. Like if I do if I do if I'm looking up to get into office, I will have I will open that option up to students. Like I want to see if students actually want to be in USI, but most importantly I want to tell them what they actually do, like how much of a lobbying group they are being on board with the, with the health service, being on board with the health service, having the say they have. But at the moment, I don't think they should disaffiliate myself, but it's really up to the students. If the students want that to happen, I will make them aware of what yeah. they do and what they don't yeah. do. Always, I, I've always told that the person who doesn't, if you don't shout, if you're not going to shout, if you're not going to make any sort of objection, they, they will walk over you. So we need a lot of... If you not then what, what would the pretense of such a march be? The pretense of... What would you get people to march on? To make sure that doesn't go up anymore, like there's guarantees by the Labour government, like by by the current government in power, that it could go up even to more than three grand, and that can't happen. We need like we need to have a cap. So that that is the pretense I'll be marching with. We need, we're, I'm I'm not for free fees at all, and I don't think it can happen. I hate I I hate saying that.
but I just want to be realistic. I want to make sure that we can get a realistic goal. My main thing I want to do is, and how I found campaigns work, is behind closed doors. We, we build up the momentum, then we do, then we have group meetings, like discussion meetings, like which I'm currently involved in the, youth, the, the, athletic, the a group focus meeting with uh, Hugh Brady about the Save Our Track thing, because that's where the work gets done. So it's all about stages. That's where I really want to focus most of my work on. Okay, maybe that, maybe, maybe, maybe a bit of a uh, apologies, maybe that's, maybe that's the wrong way to put it, however, I am um, just, in the sense that I want to, I want, I, w I just want to get things done, like I want to have, I want to get students involved and then I want to have a solution myself as a representative body of Students Uni, and whether that be meetings with the right camp, the right people, say ministers, or delegates from USI, like, I know closed door sounds awful, that sounds very close, but I, I will, like, I did, for the, I did, I, on that saver track, but I did like I was very open to what happened in those meetings, so that's that's the kind of stance to be taken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you talk about having a live screen on campus? For yeah. Events? Have you thought about who would film or produce the videos and we, the cost? We, I have, like, we put a lot of thought into that, and that was probably that's probably one of the big ideas because I'm really bad with communication this year. First of all, we've looked into like there's a uh, first of all, like there's either the live screen on campus or we're going to use the current televisions that are in place in the buildings, like Science, Quinn and Arts. So with that, basically, we have student union cameras and they haven't been used. They're not being used enough. I want to use those. I also, I also like, I want to get societies involved in the students' union as well. Not as supporting them, just, just helping us, like getting people to work together. So say, using CTM, I was involved in CTM myself. And just, so that, that's the message I want to say. So basically, either using societies like Campus Television Network or the current cameras we have, and how, what will advertise on that? That'll be, that'll be everything. That'll be from education to welfare, because I'm, because I'm, 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 I'm trying to get their mandates across as well, and what their briefs are. So that's, that's the idea of the screen on campus, just so more students can be aware. Because, just the main reason behind that when I was thinking of it was because posters. There's so many posters every week. People don't really look at them. So let's kind of condense everything. Let's make sure everything's on, on a screen in, in, in our, in our respective faculties. What would be, put with a couple of screens in a couple of faculties, not have a. I'm looking to cut costs as much as I can, and I, with, with the with the with the deficit that it is. And I personally think that screens, from when I was collecting signatures, and when we were discussing with the campaign team, that screens will be effective. That they would look at them because like it's, it's it's another outlet other than just Facebook and posters. But posters will be reduced because I want to, one is good for the environment, and two, it, a lot of waste goes in from what I've experienced. Um, and your credits for life. Program? Yeah. Who would grade them and how would it work? Um, like that's like ba basically it's in DCU and the orchestra and postgrad students currently get gra credits for it. So I really want to see, I really want to see, I really want to see on the campaign entirely to have that insured for when I'm in term. Basically, who would grade that? Say, D like I, it, that, that is really the education officer's brief. But my vision of it is is that, say for example, a convener or a class rep, they let's make it a credit. Let's make being a class rep like not a class but a credit. So who would grade that? Like it'll be up to the faculty they're in, and it's more it's more of an education brief. But I just really want to see it in campus, and whether you're playing a high performance sport because the whole whether you're playing a high performance sport or in a society or in the students' union, you don't have a lot of time. And degree is the main focus for people, so let's make that a class. Let's give people credit for that. People in society are also going to have a lot of time to add in grading. Mm. First question is about society. People don't have time to do that, and the system. Basically, the system had like it's. I do I, like. I want it, it's. It's done very well in the DCU, and that's the kind of system I want to adopt. And like you're saying that people, the whole idea behind it. I know people might have not time in society because they're so busy, but I want to get as many students involved in extracurricular activities in UCD, mm -hmm. and that's the main message behind okay. credits for life. Okay. And I want. I want to work with the education officer, whoever that may be. I got elected to to do administer that. Do, do I think I can do it before the start? I'm going to give it my best shot. I will definitely. That's my main goal. I really. That's one of my top five priorities, and I really want to see that happen. I've loved getting involved in campus, but like myself, and it's enhanced my college experience. I want to see that happen for other students. Do you think it's achievable? I definitely think that's achievable. Okay. I came to when I came to first year I knew nothing 
about what the student union does. And basically, with in regards to the dummy guy, guy was a phrase you coined from obviously the famous books. Mm -hmm. And basically, I just want to say, in it, it's going to be a condensed version, completely. It's going to be a, it's going to be a lot smaller. It's going to be a lot cheaper, and there's going to be a lot less bulk in it. And it's going to tell you what your student union does, who your sabbats are, what they do. You may say that's in it currently, but it's not done effectively. It isn't. And I know I've read the last two. It's not done effectively. What your student union does, who your conveners are, how you can get involved in class rep, and what options are there for you. And it's going to be a lot small, smaller, and the information is going to be a lot more condensed. So it's a more effective way, a cost effective way of a, a showing what the student union can offer. <laughs>